We built this beautiful Minecraft mansion, but there's nothing inside. Look at this blank canvas. I'm so ready to decorate. Except actually I'm not, because we still need to gather a couple of last minute things. The other thing we need to know is name our four cat guards. There were literally like a hundred good name comments, but we can only have four. So our slightly absurd guard names are Sir Whiskerton III, Madame Fishcake, Professor Flufficus, and Lady Sakura. And their uniform colours can be magenta, to match all the purple. Ah, so perfect! You're beautiful! Now I've put together a lot of stuff to decorate the mansion, but we are missing some glowstone, which I want for some mostly hidden lighting. So, into the nether. And we need to go to a crimson or warped forest. Oh, I think this is the first time I flew around this nether. Okay, it would be good if there weren't ghasts. While we're here, we'll also grab some quartz. It can be good to make furniture out of. Like tables and couches. Oh, and here's the forest with the glow lights. That's 33 lights. I think we're out. And then the other thing we need to collect is beeswax for candles. Wait, is it called beeswax? No, I think it's honeycomb. I thought we'd have this down because we have two beehives, but the problem is this is our only bee. Oh, wait. Okay, I thought it was our only bee. Why can they not get in the hive? Hello? Okay, nonetheless, honey production is really slow, so I want to breed them. And we can probably go get another hive or two. Bees? Bee. Oh, okay, gotcha. One and two. Baby! Get it? Baby. I'm so dumb. And then I believe if we go down here and sail down the river, there should be a couple more hives. Oh, I see one. Okay, there's one right here. Oh, there's two. Oh, that is so lucky. Okay, we better wait until night because that's when they go inside the hives. Okay, I think there's only two bees, which is barely worth waiting for, but whatever. Mission achieved. I promise one day we'll make this cute and not scuffed. Today's just not that day. Oh, I don't think they're ready to breed. They are producing honeycomb though, so we did it. And now we can decorate the mansion. Still don't have a solid plan, but we'll figure it out. Okay, I'm thinking over here could be like a really nice meeting room or maybe dining room. Either way, a big table in the middle. Oh, I love that table. It's so purple and pretty. I think we'll turn the surrounding area into a kitchen and we need to make the floor a bit more interesting. Maybe if it wasn't all stone, we could have some amethyst or purple in there. Or we also have calcite and we can make carpets. So let's do something with that and with the sides over here. And we don't actually have the final thing I'd like in the kitchen, but we can get it. Sugar. And then we need our buckets, wherever they are. And a quick visit to the cow pen for milk. And then lastly, over here to the wheat field. Do we have any? Oh, we do. Now we can make a cake. Oh, no we can't. We need an egg. We never even got chickens, did we? Oh, wait, we're saved. Don't know where these came from and I'm not gonna question it. So we go sugar, sugar, egg, wheat, 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 and the milk. And this obviously goes in the kitchen. And I think that's the kitchen and dining area done. Oh, and we made the floor more interesting over here. Now we need to work on this area. I think this is going to be storage. So we want space for a bunch of chests and we also need room for our 10 or so shulker boxes. And maybe some furnaces and things. But I think we'll start by making a bunch of chests. This is also where our glowstone comes in because it makes good hidden lighting. We'll do the chests in pairs and then we'll have gaps in between them for pillars. Okay, this is good. This looks cute. We just gotta add labels to all the chests and I'm kind of dreading bringing all my stuff over. And I also wanna make a bunch of furnaces and they can go under the stairs in this little nook. Perfect. Maybe we'll add little things up here. And then I've just gotta do something with this floor. Okay, I think we're kind of done with the downstairs. Except of course for organizing our storage. I've started putting item frames on and all the sections are gonna be in categories. So this category is food and nature. And this one is basically all the woods. Also, I get a lot of questions about the hearts on the item frames. 
I just Google heart symbol and you can just copy and paste them. It's pretty simple, looks cute. And we've got our little shulker box section and our little furnace area. As for the upstairs area, I think we'll make this part into a living room. So we'll put in some couches and stuff. Lounge is done. Now we only have one more room. It's looking like this. We've got some couches with a coffee table and a lamp. And over here is kind of like a study and reading area. So we've got a desk and bookshelves. Also, I decided there was too much dark oak, so we've got purple stairs. And now if we go over here, the only room we have left to do is the bedroom. I think the feature of this room should be like a huge king size bed. Or maybe a four poster. We'll see what we can make. I also went ahead and decorated the rest of the room, so the mansion is done. Ah, oh, I need a break from interiors after that. Which is good actually, because we've got a lot of other building to do. But first a quick tour, so when you come in, over this side we've got our storage room of course, and then on the other side we've got dining and kitchen. I don't know why I keep standing on the dining table. Rude. Then upstairs to our left is the lounge, and over this side we've got the bedroom. And we did decorate with the dragon head. Dragon head in your bedroom? Power move. Okay, but let's take a look at what else needs doing next. So we'll have a little fly. Okay, everything over here is looking pretty good until we get to the zoo. And the zoo is obviously not done. We've got a pen planned out here and over here. But if we come over here, we also have another eyesore near the mansion. See that dirt box? There's a villager in there. He's my stonemason and he needs a house and I also need another villager or two. I think at the very least, I want to be able to use my trident so it needs loyalty on it. Which means we need a loyalty villager. So I think we'll work on villagers today. We can get a loyalty one and make him a cute house. Oh, yes, you. Okay, this is very easy. Just need to go out the door. And then you need to get in my boat. And then we just put the trap door back. And then we'll make you into a zombie. It's fine, don't worry. And then we do the usual process. Starting by covering up so it's protected from the sun. Then at night we're going to let the zombies get him and we'll make some potions to cure him. Also, while we're at it, we've got this other villager who became a zombie, so we're gonna cure him too. And we did it! See, you're fine. That wasn't so bad. Okay, but for now, I'm gonna cover you up so it doesn't happen again. And then, I think we'll build their houses here, between the mansion and the zoo, so we need to clear this out. Then we'll make a little path that leads there from the mansion. I really like our little mushroom villager houses, so I think we'll make the houses match these. Which means we're going to need white concrete and we're going to need to pick unique blocks for the roofs. I feel like I've already used most of the good options, but I have a couple of potential ideas. I think for one of them we can use warped warp blocks. And maybe mix in some of these, because they look kind of nice together. And then I think we're running out of- oh no, we've got a bit of purple. I think that'd be nice for the other one. Oh, we're running out of sand though. Okay, we've got the roof block, so we just need to go somewhere with sand. I think there's a beach over here somewhere, and then we'll be able to make concrete powder for the walls. And now with the concrete made, we can build the villager houses. Okay, these are actually looking really cute. I love these colours together. And there's room to expand in future and make more around here. That is, if we end up needing any more villagers. But for now we need to get these guys in their houses. So if we go like this, and then... And hopefully he goes in. Maybe we can give him a push. Oh, and I need to actually make the rail. Oh, perfect. Oh, that's so good. Okay, next. Hop in. In you go. Oh yes, easy. And then we'll make a lectern and turn him into a loyalty villager. Oh, and I can finally remove this. It's been here for like a few episodes. So we re-rolled his trades quite a few times with the lectern to get loyalty. And then we did a bit of decorating outside the houses. This is looking way better than just the dirt huts. And also, I managed to get this loyalty book off the villager. So we should be able to put it on our trident. I already lost a trident because it didn't have loyalty, so I haven't been using this one. But it'll be good to finally use it. Wait, actually, can we put a breaking and mending on it too? I think we can. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's try it out. Okay, and while we've been working on making this area prettier, I kind of want to do something with the water. I thought we could improve the like lily pad bridge, but I also want to try making swan boats. You know those little like pedal boats for couples? Yeah, I want to make them. I think we'll use quartz and I don't really know how to do it myself, but we might just reference an image online. And other than that, we'll just grab some supplies for the path. I think I'm going to go get some coral off camera and then we'll be good to go. I got the coral. Let's give this a go. I don't really have a solid plan, but for the coral, I'm thinking trapdoors and coral on top. And then it kind of looks like a lily pad with flower. Oops. And then we'll try some other trapdoors with lanterns. Oh man, this ocean thing is annoying. But the idea is this. Then I made two swan boats based on a designer link below. Look at my swans and my path. They're kind of random, but I like them. And I think we're going to wrap that up here because we're actually on the afternoon of day 999, which is absolutely crazy. I think this is probably my first 1000 day Minecraft world. It looks so pretty and so cute. I can't wait to work more on it. But yeah, for now, this is our 1000 day world. If you followed along, thank you so much for watching my 1000 days in a Minecraft world. So far, we're going to keep going. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.